Okay, and good evening everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Okay, there was not meant to be double feedback over there. I do apologize for that. I think we are ready to go. So, quick little recap of where we are. So, last night we actually started the power siphon build. Uh, the slow, uh, the start was slow. It was tedious. It was painful. But we made it work. We're now at the point where we actually can start using power siphon. And now it's just getting through the acts. And seeing how much stronger we can get the build. Now, before we actually switch over to the main game, I just want to do the quick formalities. Thank you very much for everybody who is supporting the stream. I really do appreciate it. I really would help, really would help me out if you would help share the stream with others. Spread the word. Help grow this little community. I know it's early days. I know there's still a lot for me to learn about um, streaming. But it has day by day improved. There's been continuous improvement. Overlay has changed. The about page has changed. There's been a lot more structured time and effort put into the banner, into the logo, into everything like that. So a little bit of love and support will be highly appreciated. Now you can also go to my YouTube channel where all past live streams have been posted for your viewing entertainment. And also if you can go subscribe there and turn your notifications, that would be highly appreciated as well. But I think without any further ado, let's actually get started with tonight's stream. And this time I actually remembered to turn the freaking sound on. Last night I think like a solid 30 minutes passed and I forgot that I didn't actually turn the game sound on. Yes, because I'm smart. Okay, so I've got the build up of Yoni on the screen. This is what we've got so far. Tablerasa, two storm prisons, and we're taking it from there. For the life of me, I can't remember where I was. Uh, finish it off act two. I'm loving how powerful this build is already for the early days and I can imagine it's just going to get stronger and stronger as we progress further through the tree but now there are certain elements we are still struggling on for example mana mana we are burning through really fucking quickly and it's time to keep an eye out Okay, time to keep an eye out for some upgrades. We need to start looking for flat elemental upgrades, fast speed and attack speed on our gear. Because the gear ain't looking so great. And I don't even know what my resistances look like. Uh, 30, 42 and 0 on lightning. So definitely some work to be done there. Most of the work last night went towards uh, making sure we got to level 24. So I was kind of just pushing to try and get that wasn't really focusing on the gear which in hindsight it maybe made life easier if I was using the right ship and of course we are just going to be picking up a whole bunch of random shit as well because I am very 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 poor in the affliction league I normally spend a lot of my time in Standard League, and that is, well, I think that's simply due to the fact that I enjoy the ability to be able to have access to all the loot. And it's a place where I can go to test out worlds. True, the economy is more... Well, everything is more expensive, but that's just because everything is a lot more stable. I know I ran past, past the door there, but I'm still trying to get a little bit of levels.
Hey, what's up, Maestro? How are you doing this evening? Just need a moment to catch my breath. of a cold but good oh shit man that sucks that really really sucks hope you get better soon man lots of medicine lots of rest lots of fluids you know how it goes um i'm doing good actually uh, i don't know if you remember last night i was talking about how badly i was craving a butter chicken with non bread yeah i made sure that tonight i got myself some butter chicken and non bread <laughs> so my belly is happy good food I literally made myself so freaking hungry last night talking about the food. I was just like, uh, I need it inside my life. I need it in my belly. And it was all your fault because you started with that double freaking white bread shit that you mentioned. And all it did was make me hungry. <laughs> uh, you had what? Bufteki? What the hell is a buff turkey, good sir? Ooh. Disconnected. Game server lost. It's Greek. Oh, okay. Kind of like a burger without buns and tzatziki with it. Ooh. That actually sounds nice. Okay, so that was a little unexpected crash, so I'm probably going to have to run, rerun all of that. I'm a big fan of tapas. Just the idea of like, lots of little finger snacks. Not committing to one specific meal. Small sport of cold meats and stuff. How's it? Oh, you're gonna win me over with that every single day of the week. I'm wasting too much time with this. Fucking, you get him then if you want it. Swedish thing. Is it? I've heard of small pauses and I've had small small pauses that are not. Is it a Swedish thing? Oh, shows you what the fuck I know. I did not know this is a Swedish thing. Even the word comes from smogabor. What smogasbor? Oh fuck. I am well you've educated me on something I did not know was Swedish. next where am i 
Okay, so I finished off this last night. Masters cannot uh, block your attacks. I'm trying to think what's going to be the next best move from here. Do I go down towards the chance to suppress spells? Am I worried about survivability right now? Or do I want to start? I can move over to projectile. Yeah, let's just grab these quickly. We'll grab these to unlock the large jewel socket. I don't have the jewel sockets that I need to be able to put there, but... I can work towards it. I think then after that we'll more work towards Mark of the Prey. And then potentially up to Depth Perception. We shall see. But I do have a plan to make sure that I get all of it at least. Literally translates to sandwich table. Nice. <laughs> I always love how elegant that like, languages can sound. Until you do the direct translation and it just sounds really stupid. And trust me, that's just not that's not me just hitting on like a Swedish thing. That's like with a lot of languages. So eh, I speak Afrikaans, because obviously being from SA. Um we have got a word in Afrikaans that is... Okay, so I'm going to give you the um, the English version first. So it's, you know, goosebumps or goosebumps when you're getting cold and you get like those little bumps in your skin. Goosebumps. Pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Like everybody knows goosebumps. However, in Afrikaans, we call it Hunderfleis. Okay? Hunderfleis. A direct translation of that is chicken meat. Hunder is chicken. Fleiss is meat. Hunder Fleiss. <laughs> chicken meat. <laughs> so if you if you call next time, don't say you've got goosebumps. Say you've got chicken meat. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Or the cock skin. <laughs> That's why it's always a bad idea to do direct translations. <laughs> I mean, here's another one. In Afrikaans, if you referred if you refer to the side of something, like if you wanted to, like, like, let's say, for example, you just drove through a muddy, um, a muddy little river or a muddy little puddle, and you can't see the right-hand side of your car, you can ask the person in the passenger seat to check if their side is clean. Like, you know, pretty straightforward. However, in Afrikaans, you say, <laughs> Kijk of jou kant skoenis. So our word for side is kant. That's really horrible. K A N T. Okay. Similar words, very different meanings. Translate to side. Okay, fair enough. I don't think there was, I don't think there was such a big similarity with certain words. This 
pass out from taking a while to kill this thing. There we go. Vitality. Uh, I'm just taking all this extra shit to sell it. So. I don't mean to sound like Maestro. Don't think I need we need to, to find a way to increase the the fan base. We need to find a way to increase the amount of traffic we're getting through here. Some eyes, some followers. Oh, trust me, I know. I know. And because I never want to sit still being absolutely dead quiet, like, I end up talking. Like, sometimes even when you're not in chat, like, I end up talking to myself, hoping that if somebody comes in, they don't just have, like, an awkward silence with nothing happening in chat. They at least hear that I'm here, because they can't see that I'm here with no webcam. So I can fully understand. No, it is, but I mean, you can understand that sometimes having, like, speaking to myself for two and a half, sometimes three hours, non-stop, it, it, it becomes very lonely. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not nice. Like, I can understand if there's 20, 30, 40,000 people in the stream. To get a personalized hello might be difficult. But I would also say that there are some exceptions. Like, if you are a VIP or, like, you're a top-tier subscriber or a donator or something like that. Like, still, there should be a way to be able to without those people. But even then, I can imagine it's difficult. But, yeah be dead quiet that I don't agree with so I'm trying to strive to never be that quiet to always have something to say even if it means I'm talking to myself which ends up being most of the time <laughs> yeah no fair enough no no they, 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 they've got no excuse they, they've got absolutely no excuse you are trying to create a platform where you can welcome people where they can engage where they can talk where they can ask questions where they can criticize you I mean, the reality is that's how you're going to get better is through criticism so they're not saying anything they're not making it very welcoming uh, just think you have to run the trial again no funnily enough i think somewhere somewhere i actually did the ascendancy trial at least for the first six the first six i've done I don't think I've done anything past that. So I think somewhere when the Affliction League started, I must have ran it and done a random build and at least was able to do the first six.
I was, I had that, exactly, I had that same impression last night. I was like, fuck. I'll show you next, when I get back to town, I'll show you after I've cleared this. I was like, damn it, I hate the fucking, um, affliction. Now I'm gonna have to do my this shit again. To nip at my Just to realize, oh damn, Bang it's actually been done. Because I did the first, um, the first ascendancy trial. Just to realize at the end, with the door unlocks, it actually says I was done. So I was like, well, hey, damn. See? The first six are done. I don't actually know how many I've done. Don't worry, I'm not actually going to go do it now because I will die. You stand before the gates of the Lord's Labyrinth. Within these walls, the Lady of Justice does curious. reside. Yeah, no, that's all I've done. I've just done the first six. I haven't touched anything after that yet. Should she find you wanting, death shall be your sentence. Should she find you worthy, you will be given the loyalty and love of an empire. And I did not expect that either. Tolman. Okay, so there's no skills that I need to get because I got all the skills from you. So I can basically just take whatever the fuck I want here and dump it. General I'll miss a ball. Sell, 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 sell. You can get wrath. Ooh, okay. I'll grab that now. Because it's part of the build. Oh, I thought you... Wait, didn't you give me everything? I'll just double check. Good. But I'm almost 100% sure you gave me everything. Or am I just being completely facetious? No, no, sniper's mock. Okay, that was one thing that we needed to figure out because I've currently got nowhere to put uh, the sniper's mock because according to the build, um, sniper's mock as well as... What is it? Uh, on the weapon itself. Sniper's mock, mark on hit, and immortal call. They're all supposed to be on my weapons. Can I simply use a chromatic orb on it or is it not that simple? It's not that simple. Didn't think so. Uh, should Wrath be in my Tabli Rasa or just on my left to use a crafting bench? Gotcha. Watch yourself. Okay, let's go to the crafting bench. Okay, now what the hell is it gonna cost? Okay, so I can change it over here. Are you running around in circles, good sir? Wrath goes wherever. Okay, cool. Okay, right, so I can actually just come in over here and say... Uh, first you have... First you craft two sockets. Yeah, so... Uh, then you craft two green. So, this one first, right? Two sockets. Okay, and then we go to green. Well, there we go. Done and dusted. Because now I can put Sniper's Mark in there. 
to lose orbs are cheaper more common than chromatics so we'll be using those Got you. now you go three sockets Go away. Three sockets. Oh, I don't have three. <laughs> I'm, I'm poor, remember? <laughs> but it's fine because that's all I need right now. I only need two because I need sniper's mark and mark on hit. I do need immortal call on there, but I don't think immortal call. You do way too rich for your own good, you know that. And thank you very much again. I appreciate it. I don't want to know. Do me a favor. Can you take a screenshot of your fucking inventory and just whisper it to me? I want to see. I want to see how much currency you've got. <laughs> okay, so we make this a three socket craft. Awesome. Now we've got a three socket, so now it's two green, one blue. Oh, okay, so this is how you get off colors. Okay, so now in a situation like this, where I've got two green, one blue, I need two green and one red. Would I then go back to, um, back to two sockets, and then go back to three sockets? Ah, okay, thought so. Craft two sockets. Craft three sockets. Craft two sockets. Craft three sockets. Oh, there we go. Okay, now the only thing is now I need to make sure. Do they need to be linked? I think so. Yeah, Sigil of Power, Frost Blink, and Frost Shield don't have to be linked. The rest of them on the Power Cipher do. Sniper's Mark. Okay, so no, 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 they don't. Immortal Call doesn't have to be linked. Immortal Call can be separate, but Sniper's Mark and Mark on hit, so it's perfect the way it is. Awesome. Okay, what am I missing? Um, okay, so I've got Wrath. Wrath is on there. I'm just going to put Wrath on my wand for now. Just so that it's a, it's a place for me to put it. Um, okay. I need Grace, Discipline and Wrath. So I still need Discipline and Grace. And immortal call. And I think that is the stuff that I've already got. Inspiration, seats of power, frost field, okay, lightning pen. Okay, I don't have mark on hit or immortal call yet. But sweet, now that that's done, let's go. I walked hot the line. The time bring me back something nice, eh? Should make myself look a little bit prettier. Ooh, no, 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 no. Wrong button. Oop. 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 I like that mask. Oop. And just to make myself look just a little bit prettier. So that I'm not a dude in a white shirt the inside side. Well, that's the goal. It's a nice skin. I really do like it, but it's also it's at the same time, it's like that's the only skin I've got. So it's the only skin I've been running. So I'm kind of like a little sick of it. And then I go through the the, the store and it's just like there's some really nice skins in that store. Just need a moment to
Once again, just grabbing a whole bunch of shit because I'm poor as fuck. Uh, 66 reduced amount. Nope. Uh, I'm not actually sure which one loops to where. So we'll just flop around the top this way. Um, I do need to check that room down there because there's potential there might be a bust over there. As far as I know, isn't the... There's one bust before the waypoint, and then all the other busts are after the waypoint. You sent me the screenshot. I want to have a look at this. Are you going to be okay with it? Or okay if I bring it up on screen? <laughs> I want to see how well I am compared to you. God damn it, bro. <laughs> so, 235 divines, 556 chromat, um, chaos orbs, like 920, um, link, um, oh, are you? I see three people in chat. Is there a third person there? If you are, yes, say hi. God damn. Okay, yeah, you've got a you've got a fair few a, a fair amount. actually having a discussion about this day a little bit earlier with the missus do you potentially think that the reason why the, 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 the audience base or the, the viewers aren't that much is because when it comes to Path of Exile people have their experts that they go to they have their Zizarans, they have their Titai Killers, they have their um, Asmund Golds for example people that have done a lot with this game you think that that is maybe like they'd rather stick to the people that know what the hell they're doing because a majority of the player base knows how to play the game and they aren't interested in the idiot that's still trying to stumble his way through understanding everything or you think that's a non-fact Either he doesn't know what he's doing, or he just pretends like he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> I can guarantee you he still knows more than I do. about me as the foundation for comparison we're not talking about you your knowledge obviously i can understand that someone like that doesn't have an absolute clue what they're talking about but someone like me that's using my very limited information as a foundation probably a lot better Come on. 
Just unlock the large tool socket. I know I don't have the tool to actually go in there yet. I know I need um, leap of pride in that slot, and I will get to it eventually. If I can ever afford it. I should actually just go to my other account. Oh no, but you see, that's on the wrong. That's never mind. I keep making that mistake, realizing that there's a difference between affliction and standard. But now I think I'm going to run a clarity as well. Just for a little bit of mana region. Thank you. Is it up? Is it down? Okay, so I don't need to go that way. back to the uh, back to the encampment getting a bit full just need a moment to catch my breath There we go, thank you. Taking needlessly long for that thing to die. I don't understand why. Like, is it just me or does it seem like unnecessarily quiet? take one of these and dump it. The chromatic is more important because my shit is broke as fuck. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. I'll grab you, grab you, grab you there, grab you there. I've got space for a pair of boots. grab what I needed for the docks. I know I only get the plume at the courtyard? The gardens? Oh fuck, I can't remember the place's name now. I see we've got both four viewers. Welcome, everybody. Say hello, don't be shy. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Or day, depending on where you're at.
Just need a moment to and as far as I know, there's still one more thing I'm looking for. I give dogs. Question what I've become if I felt the need. Mm. I think survivability right now is going to be more important if I go over to the spell suppression. Sometimes they die with like one hit and then sometimes they just refuse to die. I'm guessing that's a side effect of Power Siphon at the moment, or at least early days of Power Siphon. Okay, I knew there was one more thing that I needed on this side. Basically, have no way to carry that. Okay, that's boring. Let's take that. Did I pick up what I needed to? Yes, I got the battle find waypoint. Volatility. Yeah. Do I have volatility support? Okay, then. I'm guessing as that skill levels, it also makes that skill more powerful, right? The beetle. Yep. No, actually, I can just sell everything Again, to him. Boy. Don't do anything I would. I swear, here's tab, tab for this. There we go. Let's take my eyes back to the battlefront. Just need a moment to catch my breath. So what's a better strat to go for? Seeing that I need two corrupted um, skill gems, would better strat be to go into every single vol um, script and hope that I get what I need? Or is it better to rather try and get a vol, a care, a vol orb and just corrupt the skill myself? Yeah, okay, thought it might be a lot easier. Yeah, because the chances there's no guarantee what you're gonna get from the the vol encounters. Not a speck of dust or brick out of place. Someone's got too much time on their hands. And I seriously need to start thinking about resistances. My resistances are looking kind of shit right now. Uh, what are we looking like? 30, 42, and 0. Yeah. Seriously, start thinking about that. Especially for the fight against um, Piety, because she does a metric fuck ton of lightning damage, if I'm not mistaken. I'm in the right room, I'm just going the wrong way. Correct, yeah, I thought so. And it's the one thing that I have got zero resistance to, so if she smacks me, 
I'm gonna feel it. You wanna hear something that's potentially exciting? At the same time, a little bit sad, though. I need one more viewer, and it'll be the most viewers I've ever had in a single chat. Five. be a while before I get to the point where it is I think it's like 70 yeah you know what the um the path towards becoming a partner and affiliate is I think it's like 50 or 75 average viewers I've met all the other requirements already average number of days streamed amount of hours streamed consecutive days streamed within a 30 day period I've met every other single requirement just the one that's now falling short is the followers and the average viewers. Which is arguably the hardest one to get. And we're back down to four viewers. Damn it. Well, we matched what I've previously done, so I'm happy. I think I jinxed it. Maestro, I jinxed it. Now, for some reason, for me, the hours was relatively simple. I'll just double check after this and quickly have a look. But for me, yeah. Yeah, but you also did mention you got lucky and you got that raid. That came in and that helped you reach that one. And speaking of which, good sir, when are you planning on streaming again? Yeah, you see, that's that's the benefit. I haven't been raided yet. Nah, but with this whole entire experience, I'm staying optimistic. I'm gonna stay positive. I'm doing this because I want to. I'm enjoying it. And even if it is just you for now, I appreciate you. <laughs> But I can imagine it also gets a bit boring for you in here. Funny thing is, all I'm waiting for now is like the next, like follower or something like it, because I, I changed up my alerts. Um, you are not a cop. What is that? And the only thing that I that like like really really irritated me was I reached the ten follower goal that I had when I was not streaming. Somebody followed me when I was not streaming. When I came back onto the stream, there was no way for me to, at least no way I know, for me to replay the. Hey, we met the target. Fireworks and all that kind of stuff. The cockroaches will come again. I like the death. I was like, damn it. Believe me, I'm not a cockroach. Uh, I know I need to go to the sewer right now, just first and run to the sauna encampment.
this is it's a sage wand. Right. There you go. Let me see what this is. Dexterity, increased armor, physical damage, and maximum armor. Nah. Get rid of that for now. Bring me back something nice, eh? Wife bought some, bought some new bread today with raisins and apples in it. To Gem Link View. Goodbye. The Thanks apples part sounds nice. I'm not a fan of raisins. Like, I'm really not a fan of raisins. I don't know what it is like in south africa we had these things called hot cross buns and it was basically a soft do you know what a hot cross bun is before i explain it yes yeah you see i can't stand those no i don't want to do that uh can't touch that, can't touch that. I can do this. Um, hey, there's some cold resistance and plus four to all elemental resistances. That's better. I know it from my kids' show on the TV. Ah, nice. Yeah, in South Africa, they sell it. It's, so, in South Africa, they had two versions. For a very long time, they only ever sold the one that had raisins in it. And I hated it. Did not like it. I think I tried it twice and it's just, no, just was disgusting. And then eventually, some of the bakeries and that kind of stuff realized that not everybody's the biggest fan of raisins, especially if the raisins get cooked. So, the local bakeries around in the area that I, where I grew up in, they actually started making hot cross buns without the raisins. I fucking ate that shit up. That shit was amazing. That shit was absolutely delicious. But yeah, it's not something I've come across in the Netherlands yet. So there are some things from back home that I miss. <laughs> uh, lightning damage, fire damage, not bad. Regenerating intelligence, not horrible. I don't exactly have the most of these left, but... Fuck it. What are you about to do? What? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Let me guess. The one is a... 30% to all elemental resistances, 29% increased rarity of items found, increased damage, 19 to all attributes, adds 1 to physical damage. Leveling items. Yep. So I can basically... Oh no, that one can stay. Yeah, that one can come off. And then that one can go there. Okay, so... You just like doubled my damage on top of that. And my defenses just became 75, 49, 48. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you very much, as always. Thank you very much, Maestro. I appreciate it. Okay, so I don't need to do anything further over there. No, wait, what is she I to could say? hardly hope. Keep your life to your own. I need to go back to the sewers. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I was an idiot. I actually read the one. So the one was 30%. Yeah, I read that one. This one is 24 all attributes, 18% to all elemental resistances, physical damage, leech this life, 50% increased total recovery per second from light sleep. Life, 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 leech. Fuck, I can't English, I promise. And then 32% increased damage while leeching. An extra goal. That's going to be interesting to witness. Now that was satisfying. Tonight everything pops. Nice. Die for fuck's sakes. Thank you. 
I know the general rule of thumb is just ignore them, but I don't want to. Just they give me XP. Nice XP that I sorely need. But yeah, I'm wasting too much time with them. So just be moving. I need to fight the general fuck sex. Yeah, yeah. It might take a while to kill this guy. Now we're running around in circles. Hey, we're back up to four views. Welcome to the stream. anything below 10% life it's gonna make life a lot easier specifically with certain things especially things that have got a much greater high um, life point than what a person realizes Oh, hold on. I need to check something quickly. I think there was something about one of the skills I need to only go to level 5. Okay, so Awakened Lightning Penetration. Uh, where am I after that? Power Charge, Added Lightning Damage. Lightning Penetration. Do I not have any lightning pen? I do not. Oh, I just don't have the ability to equip it yet. Yeah. So that only goes through level 5. I got stuck in the center. Okay, so I'm very much still squishy, so life is going to be important moving forward. And we're back down to three viewers. Yeah, I don't even know if you've noticed, but in the top left corner, there's a small counter. What's that? Did you hear that noise as well? Oh, my gym goes to 20 because it's not awakened. Okay, got you. Did you hear that noise as well? Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, I don't know what it was. There was some noise in the actual game. It sounded like something summoning, but it sounded a lot squeakier than normal. Ooh, that guy hits like a truck. 
Oh, it was those guys. Those things making that noise. Never mind. Yes. So what counts? In the top left, next to where it's currently showing my wrath aura, do you see there's a very small number three? Let me just double check if it's there. Let me go to the stream. Yeah, it's there. I can see it on the stream. Very top left corner. That is showing how many active viewers are in there. I know it's counterproductive because it literally shows you at the bottom of the stream how many viewers are in, but it no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Um look. If I do this, uh, so this, you'll see that the three is still there. <laughs> it's counterproductive because it, like, the stream has actually got its view at the ship at the bottom. Yeah, there's a three, a very, very small three. That's a quick way because I've got um. OBS open exactly it's supposed to be small and discreet and out the way because I've got OBS open and Because um, I've got the live chat on OBS and then I've got the um, uh, Path of building overlay open up basically over OBS just to the side so that I can see the chat. I can't see how many viewers are, um, are in the uh, Stream however on the OBS because that number is there. It's a nice little small indication for me to say hey, okay This is how many views you've got in your stream at the moment but yeah it is kind of counterproductive just need a moment to catch my breath One of those things that's a quality of life thing, but it's it's more so for me than what it really is for anybody else. I also think that because it's it's such a small number, it's only a three, it wasn't very noticeable. I think if it was like a thousand or something, it obviously takes up a bit more space, it might have been more noticeable. My damage somewhere took a massive jump. I'm on 1,300. Wasn't I like on 500 two seconds ago? things where you want to be moving fast to maintain those charges the more my charges you maintain the more damage you do nice 
I need to dodge. I need to dodge. Never remember at this wagon. You see the blue balls floating around you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're gone now. Yeah. I never remember at the wagon. Is it left or is it right to the wagon? Like, is it to the closed side, this side, or is it to the open side, that side? I've just seen, I think it's to the open side. Because I just went to the close side. And it wasn't this one. No, it is to the close side. It's just not all the way through there. I just wing it. <laughs> I thought by now you would know every single iteration of this layout of the back of your hand. Come on, Master, you're trying to tell me that you don't know every single possible um, loot that could exist and how it could possibly potentially generate? Come on, I expected more. <laughs> I hate the next area that we have to go to, the, the garden area, I fucking hate it. Garden. I hate that zone more than anything else. Sorry, that's the name I keep forgetting. Damn you! I try not to take my work personally, but you piety will be satisfied. Yeah, but the problem is, if you wanted to go to the library, which I know you don't have the first time you do it, the library, you can't, like, suck it off path, and then if you want to do the Fairgraves side mission, you've got to run around looking for the fucking blue. Which sucks balls. You are the um, so what am I looking for here? Uh, flamethrower, lightning, seismic, blade fall, hex blast, soul rain, cremation, charge dash, and blade free. Okay, nothing looking for of you. Claims the most worthy of prey, Makoru. Piety is it? the mistress of corruption. I'm not saying the war is over, but you've given Ray And you never want to be the fake grip side. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because of you, there is nothing else. Piety's off the Don't do anything I wouldn't. I was convinced that having that respect point might be beneficial. To somebody who doesn't have a magic fuck ton of respect points and also a person that does not who potentially wants to do something different with the build and needs wants access to the library so that they can um, get access to the skills that they've had up until that point Need a moment to catch my. Oh shit, I was convinced it was. I'm always doing it because it was a respect. But knowing the reality of the situation, you're probably right, I'm probably wrong. I 
again wasting time with the wrong shit. Okay, I see what you mean, it goes to the library. Well, fuck me sideways, I never paid attention in that sense. Whoever built this was desperately compensating for some. Ooh, that was a horrible stutter, and because of that, I just used all of my quicksilver. Need a moment to catch my breath. Okay, so going into this fight with Grandmaster, I'm a little bit concerned because I'm very squishy. I was hoping to be a little bit further along with the spell suppression specifically because he can really uses spells. Where's the stupid thing? Myself here killed. Still going in the wrong direction. No, hell no, go away. You can fuck off. I don't want the Ino. Shit.
Go oh, chief head fuck, thank you. So I just took a sleeping pool, let's see how long it takes to kick in. I really hope you're doing okay, but not getting while struggling to sleep. Do you have any social? Uh, I think the two might be connected. Fair, could be. So, question: While I die many times to the grandmaster, do you have any social media platforms? Masha. I've dealt with far darker shadows than you, Exile. with the company to use it. Okay. Yeah, that is something I've also been thinking about. Maybe I should just create a Discord for people to come to where they can sit, chill, relax, post shit like builds, etc. or other games, suggestions, or just a community, a place where you can come together and chat. But the problem is, I don't have the to be able to support it, so it's probably something that I will implement a little bit later on. Just because there's no real requirement and or need for it right now. Have you ever seen the true face of God exile? Nightmare! Discord, nice. You're way past ten percent of diet. Thank you. Okay, so this is probably where I'm gonna end up dying quite like a lot. Fight. I don't like that fight. It's annoying. I agree with you 100%. It sucks. I am 
got stuck. Thank you. What the hell? It's I didn't nice. die. I always thought you'd be tall. Lucky with one with nothing, it takes three hits. Wait, what do you mean? Luckily one with nothing, it takes three hits. Is that something that happens to the bolt later on? Or? While I understand that probably made a lot of sense to you, I'm probably just sitting like an absolute schoolgirl. Like, um, what did that mean? A jewel I used to level. Oh, okay, fair enough. How much is a jewel like that actually worth? All this water and not a single working boat in sight. Mm, more walking and killing for me then. Cost me one divine. Oh shit! Okay. It's that powerful. For one divine. But it's not the kind of thing that can be used on every single board, right? For living units. Specific to a certain style of play, like melee, for example. Or have I completely misunderstood that one as well? It is indeed a melee thing. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at chat, not paying attention to what's going on on screen. So using that on pretty much any character to the right hand side of the skill tree. Easy to get text there. Eh? Fair enough. I was just about to say, how difficult would it be to adapt that to be something that you use absolutely everywhere? Uh, chances per spell lucky. Chances per spell damage is lucky. That was my own fault. That was stupidity at its best. Too busy in the level tree, and I'm not sure if I actually chose the right thing. Chances per spell damage is lucky. Yes, I did. <coughs> the damage on it scales with dexterity. So basically, I'm guessing that base that on that on a build like that, all you're trying to do is just get dex notes. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Start with yes, okay. Question for you, Marsha. Did you ever play any of the other Skull games? I oh, like every like ninety percent of like everybody this mother and their child has played Skyrim. But have you ever played any of the other Skulls game before Skyrim? Before it became mainstream and everybody freaked out about it. Referring more specifically to things like Morrowind, Beckerfell, Arena, Oblivion. Objectively, because I already know my answer, but I'm interested to hear yours. Objectively, ignoring things like graphics and ignoring things like animations, obviously, because, well, 
there was a good, what, 10, 11 years between the two games. In your opinion, which game was better? Oblivion or Skyrim? Okay, not fair enough. Looks like home. <laughs> no fair enough. Okay, now let's put it to you this way. Let's take Oblivion. And redo it. With Skyrim's current graphics. Like, still get, still understanding that Skyrim is, like, old as fuck. I don't think I need to be doing that. For me, Oblivion I am Tassoon. I am was a masterpiece. Wow. Like, I'm normally not a fan of them remaking, redoing, re-releasing, etc. Like, games and movies and stuff like that. Like, it either succeeds or fails. If it succeeds, awesome. Don't keep hashing out fucking new releases every three years like uh, Bethesda's been doing with Skyrim. But if it fails, leave it be. But if there's one game above everything else that I wish, I wish that they would redo. Not reskin, not retexture like they fucking did with San Andreas. Where it's just it's still shitty. Just with a bit of polish on it. No, completely redo the game. Keep the story. Just add better voice actors, repolish the scenery, proper animation, proper engine. Not the shit that was used back in the early 2000s. If they had to redo Oblivion, in my personal opinion, it would... It would own. Just need a moment. I l there was something about the story that was just phenomenal. Mayroon's Day Gone with the... Um, the type of Septum Bloodline. Well, the Septum Bloodline that was holding the Oblivion gates closed. And then after Martin Septon, um, was it Martin? No, Martin was the, the son. It was a phenomenal story. The game was balanced correctly. It was fun. It was truly fun. I never liked going through Oblivion Gates. Exactly. You automatically knew if you got to a town, like the very first time, I think you went to Kavach, which is the very first time you get introduced to an oblivion gate and yes i remember i love the game so much i still remember most of the town's names but i remember the very first time you went to kavach and they told you that they needed your help with the oblivion gate and you went through it was actual like a fear of oh fuck what i'm gonna gonna find the other side and then then you were basically in hell fighting the danger fighting the scamps fighting all the creatures that they had to offer I don't know. Oblivion for me was... Oh, fuck. Not paying attention. Oblivion for me was phenomenal. In every sense of the word, it was phenomenal. Then Bethesda tried their bullshit with the horse armor. <laughs> Back then, people should have already seen that as a red flag as to what's going to happen with Bethesda. But no, I think if they read that Oblivion completely redid it, it would get more of a cult following than what Skyrim has. And don't eat, sorry. You're excited for Redfall. I am cautious now of anything that has got the face that attached to it. Anything. After the Fallout 4 man. Fuck up. Sorry, not Fallout 4, Fallout 76. Fallout 4 wasn't too horrible, but Fallout in Vegas still remains king. I am, I am 
petrified of what they're gonna do to Elder Scrolls 6. Absolutely petrified. I think Elder Scrolls 6, sadly, is gonna be one of those things that's gonna be like Skull and Bones. It was announced so long ago and so much was promised. And if we have a look at what people originally wanted from the game, what we're expecting, I think by the time we receive it, it's it's gonna give a cash grab opportunity. Just need a moment. Catch my breath. Unfortunately, just with the history that Bethesda's had, I would love for them to do it like proper justice, and we get a proper Elder Scrolls game. Granted, but Bethesda did for Lot 76. Do you remember that dumpster fire? <clears throat> That's the fucking problem. Ubisoft can only make one game. The last Assassin's Creed game that was good, in my personal opinion, obviously this differs between people, but the last Assassin's Creed game that was anything worth it was Black Flag. Black Flag was the very reason why Skull and Bones came into existence, because they realized how much people loved the pirate aspect of it. And we were promised it originally as a DLC or a continuation of Black Flag, focusing more on the ships. That's what they originally advertised it at. I, can't, I don't know if you, you remember it, like four or five years ago when they originally released the first teasers or trailers regarding about what they plan to do with um, Skull and Bones. How hyped everybody was for that. And then when we started finally talking about it, hearing the, 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 the E3 people and hearing all the announcements about it, hearing people say like, forget everything you know about traditional pirates. And throwing that out the window. That was the first black flag, like, oh, fuck. What are they planning on doing to this game? And case in point, they've released an absolute bonfire. I think all they've tried to do with that game is just get off of their shelves. Another one of their releases, they can say, cool, we've released this game this year. I think I had Skull and Bones on my Steam wishlist. I actually need to go have a look because I think it's still currently on my Steam wishlist. Because see when I actually added it, I think it was like a good solid four years ago. The first time they ever mentioned Skull and Bones. I was like, fuck yes. This is going to be a continuation of Black Flag. I've got this. I will support them all the way. And then the game was announced. Then we heard what they were planning on doing with it, adding in the PvP areas, and then the game launched. Then all of a sudden I had Black Flag and Skull and Bones next to each other graphically, and I was like... How are these two games close to a decade apart? Yet the one that is more than a decade older looks better. Assassin's Creed 5. Which one's 5 again? <coughs> Unity. Do we enjoy Unity? I was not a fan of Unity. No, wait. I'm thinking of the wrong one. Which one was the one where you were the brother and the sister? Was that Syndicate? Yeah, never mind. Sorry. Five? Okay, I'll give you that one. Five was still decent. Syndicate? Fucking trash. 
and two, in my opinion, <coughs> is arguably five viewers. Hey, fucking hey. <laughs> GG. <laughs> That's the most views I've ever had. <laughs> and in my opinion, if it wasn't for Assassin's Creed Black Flag, two would be in first place. 100%. So, specifically with what's happening with AAA companies nowadays, it's got me worried, but at the same time, it's got me excited because we've got smaller developers, individuals, small groups, clusters of people that are able to produce content that is better than any AAA title. Who is that? Who is that bullshit CEO that said that they game? With the amount of time and effort that they put into it, should be a quadruple A title. Wasn't that actually the CEO or the something of uh, Skull and Bone? I want to get my facts right on this one. Give me two seconds. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy to check. Um, Yeah, as the U Ubisoft CEO dubs Skull and Bones a quadruple A game. Like, really? You turn out that absolute dumpster fire, that absolute piece of fucking shit, and now all of a sudden it's a quadruple A title? No. Just because there was mismanagement, development hell, and you guys couldn't decide what the fuck you actually wanted to do doesn't mean that automatically equates to all of a sudden now it's good no and yeah i agree with you 100 percent if we could add if we could allocate a triple a title or a triple a budget to some indie developers they would be fucking phenomenal i think with every single gamer we can sometimes say that some of the best games we've played have been indie titles. Now don't get me wrong, obviously indie titles stay in early access for a lot longer, there's a lot more development help that gets involved, updates are less, um, um, are not as frequent as what your play titles might be, but there's, there's love, there's care and attention put in, if there's updates, there's actually meaningful updates. Yeah, indie title, yeah. Exactly, we are literally part of Excel. This game does not cost you a cent. Not a single cent. Okay, if you want to get technical, if you want the stash tabs and nice skin, for example, then yeah, you can expect to pay $30, $40, or depending on what currency you use, for those stash tabs and maybe some um, cosmetics. But that's it. Diablo 4 just released, and wait, 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 what is the release? What was the price of the game when it released? It was like, what, 50, 60, 70 dollars? I mean, you can't justify that. Just need a moment. I mean, don't get me wrong. Exactly. And then on top of that, there's probably microtransactions. Okay, 
Both of them excel as microtransactions for um, cosmetics. But not only are you paying the price for a full game, then there's the expansions, patches, and DLCs that are probably going to come out. Just like what happened with Diablo 3, the Necromancer was not part of the original um, characters that came out. It was an additional patch that came after the fact. So you had to buy the game, buy a DLC, and then buy cosmetics. And then by the end of it, you're 200 maybe $250 in. I might be grossly over-exaggerating the prices here, but it's still the basis that... Oh my god, how much money do you want to make from the gaming community? And that's why it's becoming a big concept that gamers who make games end up making the best games. The moment the company becomes a corporation and there are a board of investors and there's stakeholders involved with that want to obviously capitalize as much as they possibly can from the industry. That's in the night times out of ten where you can start seeing the decline of a company or a developer. Because then it stops becoming about the player, it stops becoming about the content that they're putting up and it starts becoming about how much they can turn around. Granted, I will never money is important. It's always gonna be important. I mean, without money, we can't expect to receive good quality titles. So, if the focus is to earn money, to develop better, better, more innovative and groundbreaking games, by all means, spend the money. Get the money together. It's a lovely approach towards it. However, the moment... The moment the community starts asking the question, I've spent hundreds and how many millions on a game, but it's nowhere to be seen in respect of quality, polish, day one release readiness. That's when you start losing your following, that's when you start losing your community. And granted, not every single game that a company releases is going to be gold. You're gonna have fails, you're gonna have flops, you're gonna have absolute shitty in betweens. That's okay. But if the focus ever moves away from the player, it moves more towards profits, that's when you already got a down your battle that you're going to lose. Okay, I'm very squishy, I keep getting tanked by one by something. comforting to witness an honest permanent death i always let's put it this way i always look at the best example of an absolute failure at launch but there was a commitment from the developer to improve every update that came after wasn't paid updates as far as i know i just need to double check my facts on that one but as far as I know, every update, every patch, every DLC that came out after the initial release of the game was free. Because one thing was promised originally, they never delivered that on, on this, and they spent two, three, four years fixing and winning back the community that they originally promised so much to. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was an absolute fucking failure on release. There were court cases, there was a lot of pissed off people. Have you played No Man's Sky recently? Every, okay not recently, let's say about a year, maybe two years ago. Everything that they originally promised, eventually got to get added into the game. Yes, they fucked up and it wasn't added to the game on release as they originally promised it to be. But it was lost in there. They listened to their community and they improved it. That for me will remain a win every single day of the week.
Okay, sorry, that was my little rant. But it was very nice having five years in the checkpoints. Now we've got a new goal. Six years. <laughs> Seems like it's been productive. Evening. I'm actually being very, very stupid. I just realized what my level is. That shred has a I don't want to sell that. Can't sell that. Can't sell that. Can't sell that. You will be remembered. Uh, let's put this away. That away. That away. What is this? Ten orbs of alteration. No, I'm not worried about those right now. So I'll just dump this over here. But that's why I came back. I've actually got the level to be able to use all of these things, and for some fucking reason, I just haven't. Okay, so lightning pen, that goes onto the Tabirasa. Now let's have a look where everything else is supposed to go. So on my helmet, on my helmet I need Sigil of Power, Inspiration, Frost Blink, and Frost Shield. Okay. Do they have to be linked? Okay, so Frost Blink and Inspiration have to be linked. I need a better helmet. Yes. No, oh, that's not bad. It's better than what I've got at the moment. No, you idiot. I bought the wrong helmet. I need blue. I do promise I am not a complete idiot. I guess on the helmet I need... I might have a helmet. Ooh! Must make an inspiration. Wait. I'm battling to understand... First things first. Immortal Core, where's that? Mm. Oh, Immortal Core requires level. No, wait, hold on. Do you know where I get Immortal Core? Go where you are needed. Anything you need, just. Inspirations is low power frost shield. Frost pink. So, so I would assume. All right. Take care. So I still need to get to that point. Okay, so I need a four link helmet that has got space for sigil, so three blue, one red helmet. So three blue, one red for the helmet, and then I need a shield that is two blue. Oh, that's for later on, that's for later on. Okay, so I need So I've got power siphon.
Thank you very much, good sir. Okay, I need to get some strength. Helmet. Thank you. Okay, so on the helmet I need a sigil of power. This I need frost shield. I need frost blink. And I need inspiration. Awesome. So now sigil of power. That's it. Frost shield. Oh, that can stay there. And we're good on that. Okay. Okay, so that's on the helmet. Um, on the chest, I need power siphon. I've got that. Um, power charge and crit, I've got. Added lightning damage, I've got. Lightning penetration, I've got. Increased critical strike, I've got. You gave that to me, and then volatile support. Okay, so I've got everything I need for that. I need Sniper's Mark, Mark on Hit, and then Immortal Call. Immortal Call I've now got, I just can't use it, because I don't have the strength. I might need to go have a look at maybe I can throw. I need to replace my gloves and my boots. So let's do that, let me see if there's anything better available for me. Yes. Uh, boots, boots, boots. Hmm, not really. Would have been nice. Okay, let me do this quickly. May fear guide you. Oh, hold up. I don't think I've got access to movement anymore. Not as part of the crafting recipes. Yeah, I've only got access to the first one. Okay, you know what? That's exactly what I need. So for that, let's do this. I need to get some strength. Take this, take that, take that, my last one. Take that. Yeah, that'll work for now. Let's go crafting bent, increased movement speed. 14% increased movement speed, thank you. And then I highly doubt I'll be able to put strength on this as well. No, I won't, because it has to replace. That's okay. So I've got better movement speed, and I've got some intelligence, some life, and some regen. Not great, not good, not amazing, but it's eh. I know these are shit. Things that can't do anything to that. Strength. Yep. Just do that. Means I can grab that. I can do that. Okay, so those were quick. Quick, quick, shitty fixes. Let's see what they do. And I actually think I've now lost. Yes, box six. I was not paying attention. I'm gonna go back through the mines.
Is there an ability that has to be used? Oh, fuck me. I thought it was. Oh, okay. Oof. Um, let's put that there. Let's make sure I've got everything. Okay, so the last thing I need down here is 100% increased evasion. I'm gonna leave that for now because I'm not technically wearing body armor. Always close above to enemy allies in the Iran for duration. Huh. I actually want to stay uh, there. What's going on? What sneaky stuff are you about to do, good sir? Stop! How the fuck are you that fast? Use that. <laughs> That's level 59 with 188 intelligence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay, we'll put that there out the way so we don't accidentally sell that for later. So that is a 34% increase to spell damage, no physical damage, increased attack speed, increased critical strike chance, 386. Um, accuracy rating, attacks with weapons of 113% increased in a minute. What the absolute fuck, dude? Man comes in here, drops bombs, and then takes off. Well, dude, by all means, go ahead. You can clear this map before. I'm just gonna run, you can clear everything ahead. <laughs> Ja, 
just need a moment to catch my breath. It's ridiculous how fast you are. What level is this current character? Only level 59, what the fuck? I need to know what skill gem you're using. I want to try that thing. And then also, where is your movement speed coming from? Yeah, the hello pom technique is the one that um, uh, almost increases like a thousand damage like every 10 seconds. And that's the one that increases that uh, damage goes up with decks. What do you want? Go where you are needed. Yes, this fancy ass thing is coming with me again. You are getting put right there in the bottom corner. No. I'm scared I misplace your ass. But you want one in the bottom corner. Movement speed is from Quicksilver Flask and Silver Flock as well as Seven League Boots. No, but like, you are ridiculously fast. I mean, I'm using a Quicksilver Flask, so... That ain't that. Seven League Boots, is that a unique? I'm busy looking it up right now. All that. <laughs> uh. okay. okay, but silver flask, the onslaught, that doesn't actually help to your movement speed, does it? Yeah, the seven leaks, um, step pro hide boots. That I can imagine is pretty fucking OP. 50% increased movement speed. Yeah, that would be very nice. Onstalt gives 30% movement speed. What? For real? Right well, fuck me. I did not know that. That would explain why you're so fucking quick.
Maestro. And of course, I'm using Mage Blood. Oh, well, of course. That's gonna make a lot of, yeah. Now it explains why you're so fucking quick. Okay. Maestro, we need to have a look at something because something ain't working over here. And I think this is once again touching base on the path of building being absolutely fucking useless in explaining which skills to focus on first. It feels like my damage is sorely lacking in respect of what it should be potentially. Now, this is how I've built it. And that is literally just in. Because I have taken the build Oh, sorry, wrong one. I've taken the path of building. And I've just been focusing on getting the... The bottom ones. The ones that I thought would be important. Pass often is not regarded as a leveling skill. Mm, granted. So, Power Siphon is more something that you would you would use a different skill to level with. And then once you get to like, let's say level 60, Augmentative, you would then respec into a Power Siphon build. Is that correct? Because at that point you'll have access to better nodes, better gear actually having all the correct equipment or have I just fucked this somewhere along the line Seven for Thunder first. Okay. So, Pass Alpha is not a Pass Alpha ain't a leveling bolt, meaning this ain't the kind of thing that you should technically be trying to run through the acts with. It's more so something that once you've got the axe done, and it's powerful, you do maps with it. Powerful, but it's powerful later on. See, that's what I was afraid of. That is what I was afraid of. Okay. List it off for me. Besides Rain of Arrows and Magma Orb with Holy Flame, what other quote-unquote good leveling builds are there? Just need a moment to catch my breath. Magma for Gospers, 
This should be fine though. Yeah. I'm just trying to think where I can go on the skill tree. That's going to give me the damage. Because the, the survival battle yesterday. Not to bother with yellows. With yellows? Are you talking about all of these? Yellows. What the fuck do you mean by yellows? Yeah, as a general, I try and avoid them. I was actually not focusing on yellow mobs. Okay, fourth of all demons. Okay, so everything down this way is done, and I just start going upwards. There you go. Now it's on to this level. I'm being chased by a fucking puppy. Kind of sucks when the thing that's chasing you is yellow and it's faster than you. JJ1997, hello, how are you doing this evening? circlet oh fuck me sideways okay increase energy via resistance pretty good thanks i'm glad to hear that 
Okay, that's another thing I have to save for a little bit later. I'm still a bit off of that. Yeah, I'm like half of that. Okay, so that's end game. Maestro, you bring a friend. Very much. I can comfortably say that you are like my number one fan. <laughs> I appreciate it. I am <laughs> them as much as I can. Oh, that's what you meant by auras. This is going to be interesting. Fact, I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me over here. Your sleeping pool has kicked. I was wondering how long it was going to actually take for that to kick in. Maestro, if you are leaving, I hope you have a lovely evening further, man. Thank you very much for the love and support, as always. And thank you again for the gear. I like it. 90% <laughs> of my builds wouldn't be anywhere close to where they are at the moment if it wasn't for you. So, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. I did not mean to use two portals. Nice. And just thank you for the support in general. You've been in every single one of my streams consistently for like the last 19 days. Except for the days that you've been working, so. It means a lot, man. What do you want? What do you need now? May fear guide you. 
And thanks to you, we're currently on par with the most views I've ever had. I stream every single day. I think in the last 19 days, there has only been one day that I have not streamed. And then all of my streams get posted onto my YouTube channel as well. For viewing pleasure at a later date. Quickly, let's quickly have a look. So I'm looking at my YouTube. Yeah, there's 24 videos, so that means I have streamed for 24 days. 25 days total because I skipped one day. Well, it ain't just gonna fall into a person's lap, that's for sure. If you ain't willing to put in the work. And that's on top of, that's on top of a nine to five job, that's on top of having a wife. <laughs> Like, that's actually the funny thing. I actually was having a chat to um, Maestro about it earlier. If I actually go to my Twitch, let's quickly do this. Um, let's go there. Where's my achievements? Achievements, here we go. Um, so, path towards partner. The stream on 12 different days. I've done that already. I've got 26 out of the 12 required um, and streamed for 25 hours. I have streamed for 78 hours so far. So I've met every single requirement except for the average of 75 viewers. So that's the next big step. And then path to affiliate, um, I need to stream for eight hours. As you know, I've done 78 and stream on seven different days. I've streamed on 26 different days and I need to average three viewers. Now currently my average viewership is on 1.55. So I need to average another 1.5 viewers in order to get my, sorry, and get 50 followers, my apologies, and get 50 um, followers um, to get affiliate. So the time and day requirements are good. I've met that. It's the, the followers and the average viewers that I'm struggling on. But I am well aware that these, this is the kind of thing that it takes time. If I'm consistent, if I'm constantly impro improving, things should get better. And there's been small improvements the entire time. I mean, like now, my like on the stream, the about page, all the information below. I've actually like custom made URLs, custom made pictures. Maestro had it. Yeah, Maestro told me that Maestro, he actually mentioned to me that the part that he struggled the most with wasn't actually the the views and the follows. What he struggled with was the hours requirements. I'm on the opposite side of that. The hour requirements ain't an issue. For me, it's the viewers. And once again, ain't worried. That's going to come with time. If we take it, I'm currently sitting on 10 followers over 26 days. So that's an average of rounded let's say 0 0.8 followers every two days that's almost one follower every two and a half days that's not too horrible of an increase and it will eventually become a percentile thing in the beginning it's difficult Yeah. It will eventually become a percentile thing. Oh shit, I died. Um, in the sense that the more views you get, 
the more the word of mouth starts spreading. Exactly. And if you're consistently improving, like if there's something that's fundamentally wrong, doing con the wrong thing consistently is not going to garner improvement. So that's why I'm willing to listen to those people that have got critiques. If you don't like my voice, tell me to shut up. If you want to see my face, let me know. If you think that the quality of the stream isn't good enough, I don't know quite how to improve that because I've got a one gig line and I've set up OBS to um, stream it at its best quality. So I don't think I can ask for better quality. But there's, there's always improvements a person can make. And that's what I've been trying to do over the last 26 days. Just need a moment to catch my breath. And every single stream so far has averaged. Ah, oh, that was stupid. I went in there unprepared. That was off. That was off. Every stream so far, I think, averages two and a half, three, maybe four hours. Like, averages, let's say, it's two and a half. But I've had some streams that are three and a half, four hours. Oh, uh, but going back to the percentage thing, eventually it's a numbers game. If you work on a, let's say a, say a 10% average, a lot of people I know struggle with audio when starting out. They either have terrible mics or are too loud or too quiet and game sounds overpowering, etc. You seem fine to me though. Like my very first video that I uploaded, it is on the YouTube channel. I had a normal headset. And when I, one thing I like to do is when I'm done with a stream, I will take like a solid 30 minutes and watch snippets of the stream to see like, okay, what is the audio quality like? Am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Is the game too loud? And one of the things that I saw in that video is I hated the quality of the mic. So I went out and bought myself a Blue Yeti, a Blue Yeti mic. Now that has improved the quality of it. So improvement number one. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to get past this intersection because that physical damage that they do is a bit much for this little pink of mine with only 642 damage. No. Listening to my art, I hate it. It's like, have you ever, I think every single person has done it. When you were younger, you decided it was going to be a good idea to sing into your phone's microphone and then listen back to it. I am convinced that I sound like a dying moose. I hate what I sound like in recordings, but I had to listen to it to <laughs> if it was going to be good or not. <laughs> Fuck, finally made it through that. One more thing that I wanted to mention, just trailing off on what I mentioned earlier on. Eventually becomes a percentage game. Let's say work on a basis of 10%. If you work on an average of 10%, you have got 10% of your viewership that follows. Okay. Now, if you've only got 10 viewers, it's only going to be one person. 20, two people. 100 people, 10 people. A thousand people, 100 people. And then we have a look on the um, basis of that as well. 10% of that maybe subscribe. If you've only got 10 people, maybe only one person would subscribe. But that's highly unlikely. If you've got a thousand people, of that, maybe 10 people subscribe. That's still only 10 people. It's a percentage game, so I know that as the numbers increase, other things will follow. And I'm in no rush. It's just learning.
And I did make myself a promise a little while ago. The moment this starts feeling like a job or like a chore, I'm going to stop. I'm not doing this to replace my 9 to 5. I studied way too hard <laughs> to do what I, I currently do, but just for enjoyment. If an opportunity presents itself where this can become a career, awesome. Love you. Great. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, I just want a place where I can provide a little bit of entertainment, chat with a couple of random people, and play some games. I mean, I already do the playing part every single night, so... Why not let other people enjoy it with me? This character is so squishy. And that I think is 100% my own fault for making this character this squishy. I am a project manager, but not a, like, like I'm a Prince 2 certified like, project manager that deals with, um, let's call it pharmaceuticals. So did Maestro reach, reach out to you to come and show some love and support? Okay, you and Maestro share some similar homies in games we've played multiplayer. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That's nice. You know, uh, Maestro has been a G from day one. I mean, I remember he maybe is the one I play, but I don't mind watching. That's awesome. I do appreciate the, the support. I really do. Yeah, Maestro showed up one day and he took it upon himself and he's basically just been like a mentor. He's been explaining this game because... One of the things I've voiced in the beginning is I've got about 400 hours into Path of Exile and I never really learned anything. Builds were complicated. Following guides made no sense. I didn't know where to focus, what to do. I had, prior to him arriving, I had never made it past the main 10 acts ever after 400 hours into the game. Now, 400 hours might sound like a lot in other games, but with this, it's nothing compared to the numbers that exist out there. And he, he showed up and he's been in basically my streams every single day since then. He misses one or two days if he's working. He might leave a little bit earlier to go to bed while I'm still busy streaming. But apart from that, he's been here every single day. I think if you go have a look at some of the past videos that I've posted, like the amount that he comments, he's constantly willing to talk. 
is constantly willing to provide them with the upgrades. I've already told him, it's been made very clear to him that the moment I have the ability to be able to have VIPs, he is going to definitely be made a VIP because what he's done for me is insane. And I appreciate that. That won't go enough. It hasn't gone to the next. Yeah, that guy hit me once and fucked my shit. Be right back now. Take it time. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Increased damage of hidden elements against marked enemies. I need life first. I'm struggling too much. As proven literally two seconds later. Welcome back, good sir. So if you don't play PvE, what are the games that you currently play at the moment? Sing one for me too, Mayor Vale. Something uh, uh, upbeat, please. <laughs> I felt it.
Okay, so you've got an eclectic taste in games. I'm exactly the same. My Steam library consists of City Skylines, Oblivion, Skyrim, uh, Mass Effect, um, Sims. <laughs> I've got Formula One. I've got um, yeah. It's 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 a mixture of a little bit of everything and anything. I used to be. I used to love shooters when I was younger. Like I think like 16, 17. Like Call of Duty used to be the thing that I used to play basically 24 7. More specifically at that point it was Ghosts. Ghosts, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. But same, I kind of fell out of the typical first person shooter. The only real first person. Oh God, I don't even want to call it a first person shooter, but the only real shooting game I still play to this day is um, Deep Rock Galactic. I don't know if you've heard of it. Okay, Red Dead, the first one, was amazing. The second one has got the best storyline in any game I have ever played. GTA? I think that one's a personal preference. I'm not the biggest fan of GTA. Played it. Enjoyed the story. It was written phenomenally. And it was definitely an improvement from San Andreas. So the wait was definitely worth it. I'm just... I played it once. I won't put any more stock or effort into it after that. Oh, hells yes. No, Red Dead Redemption is an absolutely s visually stunning and breathtakingly amazing game when it came to the story as well. you mentioned Skyrim, I was actually having a conversation with oh, I knew I was gonna die there, I had nowhere to go. I was actually having a conversation with Maestro earlier on regarding um, the Elder Scrolls series and if he had played any of the Elder Scrolls games prior to Skyrim because I know that a lot of the hype came around Skyrim and at that point a lot of people only found out that previous Elder Scrolls games existed. So I would ask people if you played Skyrim. Have you played any of the other Elder Scrolls games? Oblivion, Morrowind, Daggerfall, and then the original arena, I think it was called. Granted, if you play any of those games now, it's going to be eye cancer because those games are fuck old and looked horrible. Getting stuck. And Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Yeah, Elder Scrolls 4 was oblivion. Yeah, now I was having a little of a, of a rant to Maestro early on telling him that now. Nah. I know that there's a phase currently going around where they're trying to remake games or remaster games or something like that. No, I don't want a remaster. If they were able to remake a game, completely remake from scratch. Sorry, I'm dying a lot because I'm squishy as hell. But if they ever wanted to remake a game from scratch, new engine, better better voice acting, better animations, but maintain the original storyline, Oblivion. It would win game of the year, hands down. It's, it's not even up for discussion, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm dying a lot. The problem is I've got a yellow in my way with blue right behind it. And I'm squishy. Very fucking squishy. Let's try this again. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna die. You see, I keep getting stuck, and then that fucking yellow keeps breaking me. Because it's not actually the yellow that's hitting me, it's the shit that he spawns in around him. But I've died four times now in my little rant and my little speech. And so we learn. Yeah, but I am trying to do something difficult. I'm trying to take a bolt that is not necessarily built for leveling. It's more so a bolt that once you've leveled, you respec and make it powerful. I'm trying to both make it power powerful and level with it at the same time. Okay, I'm just going to ignore everything for a little bit to get away from that yellow. I'm going to ignore the strong box. Yeah, I said fuck it. Well done. So, 10 minutes on a single corridor, and I finally made it past it. And it was actually just that simple of just shut the fuck up, stop focusing on the wrong things, and just run. noticed a lot of the times I've got this horrible habit I tend to dash forward and I normally end up dashing into a group of enemies and then I end up getting stuck there because I can't dash out instantly because it's not flame dash and then death death from stupidity of life is leashed instantly and now we continue moving up actually no i need to go diagonally across and i need to work towards marker prey hopefully that means my single target damage should be more meaning those yellows should start dying a lot faster so three levels to get that just need a moment here Keep forgetting that these fuckers apply bleed. Yeah, but if you want to, I would appreciate it if you can help spread the word. If you've got social media platforms and that kind of stuff, it really would be highly appreciated. And don't judge me on all the deaths. You've come and maybe the hardest build I've done so far. I hope you're enjoying the stream yourself. Oh yeah.
Well, unless you're playing something like My Little Pony. I don't think they've quite got death in there. <laughs> then again, I don't know what they do in My Little Pony. Wait, what the fuck was that? If I apply that... Plus that. Oh, I thought maybe you could the combination of the two do something different. Often get tampled. <laughs> Why do I want to check if that actually exists? Because <laughs> that would be funny as fuck. <laughs> you see, almost ran right into them. Before I start this fight, I need you to make a prediction. A number from 1 to 10 or potentially higher. How many times do you think I'm going to die? once <laughs> Another satisfied customer. but that's phase one of the fight now on to the next fucking problem so now in a sword succession I need to fight three bosses and then a big boss that sounds even stranger when I say that How did I kill basically everything and then still die? from a basis of enjoyment I'm gonna call it there with this character I'm just gonna play with something else just for a little bit it's just that I don't feel like a complete failure um, okay she's naked let me just quickly equip all my shit um, there she is
Nächstes Mal, Baby. Let's go to Highlight and let's run a few maps. Just to see if I remember how to use this chick. Okay, so we don't want... We don't want haste. We want that. Let's go there. Let's grab a few maps. Let's start off with something simple just to get warmed up. Let's grab a tier 3 map. Make sure there's no... Okay, cool. Nothing bad on that. Should be a lot nicer. That was a boss. We'll take the hammer, take the sword, take the slippers, and we'll take the axe as well. Why not? I just realized I don't actually have any water scrolls with me. How the hell am I gonna get back to? Done. Unfortunately, there's only one way for me to, to exit. And that's by going back here. <laughs> I forgot to grab portal scrolls. Mm, let's grab a few of those. Good day. Okay. Mm, I can sell shit. Mm, I actually need to go back to. Back to you. So, I want to get your input, JJ. Do you believe it is a good thing to go about following the trends in forms of what everybody's playing? So currently, everybody's either playing Helldivers 2 or Skull and Bones. And I fucking blatantly refuse to play Skull and Bones. Or... Is it rather better to focus on the games that either you enjoy or that falls within the bracket of what you want to cover as content? Because I haven't identified that section yet. Like, okay, mostly I've only been I'm streaming Path of Exile, but I mean, that's because what I wanted to play and the only real viewer that I had at that point, that's what he came for, which is Maestro. So I had to make sure that the one viewer that I had was happy. And I've branched out a couple of times playing um, Deep Rock Galactic and Hypercharged and 
I think there was something else that I played. I can't remember right now. Oh, Power World. That's the other game that everyone's busy playing. Go well. It's a tier 6 map. I don't want that. Tier 6. Oh, let's grab this. What mission do I have? Oh, that's a T16 map. That's going to be even more chaos. Let's see how this goes. Monster damage. Monster's poison on hit. No, fuck no. Area has effect. Right. I'll go with that one. You'll have to be careful. One, 100% like I th I'm 100% in agreement with you on that like I think even on one of my uh, uh, like even my about page about page um, who am I I even mentioned there that like I'm gonna play what I enjoy that's gonna be the main goal now obviously later on if the player base grows and there's a request for me to play other things I'm always gonna be open to play something else but it's not gonna be the the focus to jump onto the train. Like right now, the biggest enjoyment I've got is playing Path of Exile because the The learning that I've done in the last, let's say, 26 days that I've been post, that I've been streaming with Maestro's help, it's been fun, it's been enjoyable. But I don't see Path of Exile being the main thing that I stream. There's definitely going to be days where I want to stream something else, which is why I had, there has really been days where I was just like, nah, the damn feeling will probably like that. Or whatever. Insert X. completely ignoring the fact that it is a trend at the moment i enjoy power world i just haven't got much of a t chance to actually play it i think i've maybe got like four hours in the game so i haven't really got like a real opportunity to actually explore and see what it's capable of so i like i personally want to play a bit of power world um there's hyper chance it's like i've got no idea how old you are i'm guessing by 1997 that's the year that you were born it's a shot in the dark i might be wrong but i don't know if you remember when you were younger there was a show called i think toy soldiers where it was basically these action figures that came to life and they basically got into a war inside this person's yard hypercharged is exactly that your little action figures first person shooter fighting around in stores kids bedrooms and that kind of stuff fighting other little toys it sounds stupid, but it's quite a bit of fun. And then there's Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic, I've had a love for since the game came out. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot more um, fun with with friends. And might get at the point where we start involving other people into the stream. But, I mean, those are four games right, right there that I'd love to stream. But I'm always scared about, okay, if we take that step, do I potentially miss out on the people that came for the Path of Exile? sounds stupid but hilarious like no jokes hold on hold on give me a second yeah so no jokes when i tell you it is literally it is literally like 
poor little soldiers. You are fighting in like your bedroom. It sounds stupid, but it is so much fun. Like it is actually a lot of fucking fun. I have a video on my um, YouTube channel from a past live stream. If you want to go have a look what it looks like. I don't think I got the sound quite sorted out on that video. So the gunshots might be a little bit loud compared to my voice. But go have a look. It's a lot of fun. And it's co-op. All black co-op, I think. So <laughs> it's actually something that a person can enjoy. You can customize your character and do all kinds of shit. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should maybe do another stream on Hypercharged. I'm also going to be calling it a night. It's 12 o'clock here by me as well. I hope you have a lovely evening further. And thank you very much. Appreciate the, the support. It really does mean a lot. If you want to follow, by all means, that would be nice. If you want to help spread the word, I'd appreciate that as well. So look after yourselves. Be safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. And thanks again for dropping by. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a good place for me to call it a night as well. Thank you very much for everybody that tuned in and watched the stream. It really does mean a lot to me. And like I mentioned a couple of seconds ago, if you can help spread the word of the channel, share it on social media, it really would mean a lot to me. Follow, spread the word, share it everywhere. As much as you can, the more views we can get and the better the content can become for you. That is the ultimate goal. And for those of you that are not aware, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So go go and subscribe over there as well. Show some love and bring some attention to there as well. But that's as good a place as any. So have a lovely day and or evening further depending on where you are. Look after yourselves. Be safe. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next stream.